After years of waiting, it's finally here. SpaceX is still targeting May 27 for the launch of the Demo 2 mission, which will carry astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley to the International Space Station. It will be the first crewed launch for SpaceX, but most importantly... We're on the precipice of, of launching American astronauts it's on American rockets from American soil for the first time in nearly a decade. Thanks Jim, so while we eagerly waiting for the launch, let's take a look at 8 interesting facts regarding this mission you may not know about. As we are all aware, the Crew Dragon Demo 2 mission will fly with astronauts on board. But nevertheless, it's still considered a test mission. If successful, the spacecraft and Falcon 9 rocket will finally receive human rating certification. This also means SpaceX will get the green light for its first crewed operational flight, also known as Crew 1 or Dragon 1, which is currently scheduled to launch in August this year. Demo 2 mission was originally slated to last only 14 days, but NASA has officially extended it to several months. Bob and Doug will perform duties and experiments as Expedition 63 members on board the ISS. But how long exactly will astronauts stay there? We don't know for sure yet. But it's gonna be a minimum of 30 days and with maximum stay up to 4 months. The stay is limited because the Dragon solar panels are currently certified for only 119 days in orbit. Currently, there is only one American astronaut on ISS, Grace Cassidy, and it's safe to assume he's really looking forward to the arrival of Dragon 2 spacecraft. This is him answering the question if he's ready for those new roommates. Well, emotionally, I'm very ready. I'm excited. I can't wait to see them on an actual technical basis. I still have a few more things to do. It's, it, I want to have a welcoming reception for them. And if you are coming to somebody's house, uh, it's nice if the bed is made. It's nice if there's some food stocked in the pantry. And it's nice if uh, their sheets are clean. So I have to do the analogous things here. Astronauts supposed to originally fly on capsule C-205, but you may remember this rather brief explosion of the Crew Dragon in April 2019. That caused some issues in mission assignments, among other things, because it was the capsule SpaceX planned to use for then upcoming in-flight abort test. So a change had to be done and C-205 was used during the in-flight abort test instead. So Bob and Doug will launch aboard brand new Dragon 2 with serial number C-206. Bob and Doug are both seasoned space flyers, classmates and friends. But interestingly enough, they are both married to fellow astronauts as well. Megan MacArthur is the wife of Robert Behnken and she has flown one space shuttle mission STS-125 and she was also the last person to touch the Hubble Space Telescope. Karen Nyberg is married to Douglas Hurley and she spent a total of 180 days in space during missions STS-124 and Soyuz TMA-09M. That's actually more than six times longer period in orbit than Doug so far. The Demo 2 flight will be the first time a two-person crew launch from US soil since the fourth mission of the Space Shuttle program in 1982. While this time only Bob and Doug will be on board, the next flight, Crew 1, will have all four seats filled. Those four crewmates will be NASA astronauts Michael Hopkins, Victor Glover, Shannon Walker and Japanese astronaut Soichi Noguchi. A brand new spacecraft with sleek design like Crew Dragon requires an innovative approach to its controls. And that's why SpaceX ditched the old school buttons and dials and instead went with three large touch screens. Now you may be thinking that the user interface will be using some unique orbital class operating system. But you'd be surprised. SpaceX Crew Dragon UI actually runs on Chromium. Yes, it's based on the same source code like your favorite internet browser. Speaking of Dragon's user interface, you can actually try it yourself. SpaceX released Crew Dragon Ducking Simulator, which features the actual interface astronauts will use to control the spacecraft manually. You don't have to install anything, your favorite browser is all you need. You can test your astronaut skills in virtual attempt to dock with the space station. And even if you are one of those flat earth guys, actually SpaceX got you covered. You can always go in the settings and choose the shape of Earth according to your belief. If you wanna see even better videos than this one, please subscribe to my channel. If you found this video at least a little bit interesting, please give it a like. And let us know in the comments if you have some more interesting info regarding this mission. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye everybody.